Have you ever been drawn to someone who seemed incredibly confident, charming, and charismatic, only to later find out they were more narcissistic than you ever imagined? This allure often stems from the charismatic charm of a narcissistic individual. It's like a magnet drawing you in. But this charisma can be misleading. It forms the basis of a relationship that may not be as healthy as it first appears. So, the charm that initially attracted you might have been a smokescreen hiding a narcissistic personality. Ever noticed how your self-esteem can dwindle over time in a relationship with a narcissistic man? It's a gradual process, like water carving its path through stone. Narcissistic men have a knack for subtle emotional manipulation, slowly chipping away at their partner's confidence. They'll plant seeds of doubt, criticize under the guise of jokes, and dismiss your achievements. This isn't a sign of your inadequacy, but a reflection of their own insecurities. The constant belittling and undermining can cause a significant blow to your self-esteem. Do you find yourself constantly catering to your partner's needs while neglecting your own? When you're in a relationship with a narcissistic man, it's easy to fall into the role of the caretaker. You might feel compelled to always be there, to always soothe, to always fix. But this cycle can lead to emotional exhaustion. It's like running a marathon with no finish line in sight. The constant giving can leave you feeling depleted, worn out. Playing the caretaker role can be emotionally draining, leaving you with little energy for your own needs. Have you noticed how your personal boundaries seem to disappear in your relationship? This is the slow erosion at work, a telltale sign of a relationship with a narcissistic man. It's a creeping process where your needs, wants, and personal space gradually become secondary or even invisible. This happens subtly, under the guise of love and care, making it a significant problem. It's like sand slipping through your fingers, almost unnoticed until it's too late. When boundaries vanish, it's a sign you're losing yourself in the relationship, wondering how you can regain your independence and reclaim your identity in the face of a narcissistic relationship. Well, you've come to the right place. This journey is about rediscovering your strength and resilience, and above all, it's about taking care of you. Firstly, let's talk about self-care. It's not just about bubble baths and facials, though they can certainly be part of it. True self-care is about prioritizing your mental, physical, and emotional well-being. It's about acknowledging your needs and making them a priority. It's about saying, I matter. This might mean taking time each day to meditate, exercise, or indulge in a hobby. It could mean seeking therapy or counseling. It's whatever helps you feel grounded and valued. Next, let's talk about boundaries. Boundaries are not walls meant to keep people out. They're guidelines that help others understand how to treat us. In a relationship with a narcissistic man, boundaries may have been crossed or ignored. So it's time to redraw those lines. Be clear about what you will and won't accept. This might be uncomfortable at first, but remember, it's a crucial step towards regaining your independence. Lastly, don't hesitate to seek professional help. Therapists and counselors are trained to help you navigate these complex emotions and situations. They can provide tools and strategies to help you regain your independence and reclaim your identity. There's no shame in asking for help, and it can be incredibly empowering. Remember, this journey is not about them, it's about you. It's about finding your voice, standing your ground, and most importantly, loving yourself enough to say, I deserve better. It's about rebuilding your life, piece by piece, until you're standing strong and tall once again. By implementing these strategies, you can start to reclaim yourself and regain your independence. You're not alone in this journey, and with each step you take, know that you're moving toward a future where you're in control. Feeling isolated and alone in your struggle? Remember, you don't have to face this alone. In the face of a narcissistic relationship, seeking support becomes vital. It's about reaching out to those who truly care, be it friends, family, or professionals. You're not expected to navigate these turbulent waters solo. You're human, and humans are inherently social beings. We thrive in connection, in community. Building a resilient network isn't about quantity, but quality. It's about surrounding yourself with those who uplift you, who validate your experiences, and who empower you to stand firm in your truth. It could be a close friend who's always there to lend an ear, a family member who never fails to remind you of your worth, 
or a professional who can provide you with the tools to reclaim your independence. Remember, these people are your lighthouse in the storm, guiding you towards safer shores. With a strong support network, you're not alone. Together, you can navigate the path to freedom and recovery.